Good morning children. How are you all? This is Ajita teacher and today we are going to learn about something very interesting. Let me give you a hint. You have learned the same about the frog. Any guesses? Oh, I can hear a few of you saying life cycle. Yes, you are absolutely right. Today, we are going to learn about the life cycle of a silk moth. Well, we have learned about a few insects and silk moth is one among them. But do you know what is special about the silk moth? Aha, uh -huh, not yet. I will tell you that at the end of the video. So keep watching. Let's begin with the life cycle of the silk moth. The first stage. The female silk moth lays about 300 eggs at a time. She lays these eggs on the leaves of the mulberry trees. The eggs are covered by sticky substance so they stick to the leaves. The second stage is called the larva or the caterpillar. After 15 days, the eggs hatch and caterpillars come out of them. They eat the mulberry leaves and grow bigger and bigger. The third stage. The caterpillar starts making a cocoon around it. The cocoon is like a covering in which the caterpillar rests and grows. The cocoon is made by a liquid that comes out of the mouth of the caterpillar and it makes a head movement like we write the number 8. And after many, many days, a covering is formed around it. This is the cocoon. The caterpillar now rests inside it. The fourth stage is when the caterpillar inside the cocoon turns into a pupa. It rests inside the cocoon for many, many days. The fifth stage is when Finally, the cocoon is broken open and the silk moth flies out of it. This time, the pupa has turned into the silk moth. And this way, the adult moth now lays eggs again and this is how the life cycle continues. So children, there are five stages in the life cycle of the silk moth. The first stage is when the silk moth lays the eggs. The second stage is the caterpillar. The third stage is when it makes a cocoon. The fourth stage is when the caterpillar turns into a pupa inside the cocoon. And the fifth stage is when the pupa turns into an adult moth and comes out of the cocoon. Now, do you remember I told you there's something special about the silk moth? Well, children, the silk moth is an insect which gives us silk. We wear those beautiful silk clothes like the saris and the dresses. These all are made from the silk that we get from the silk moth. Do you want to know how we get the silk? Well, children... The cocoon is nothing but the silk threads. These cocoons are put into hot water and that is how we get silk from it. So children, let's quickly revise the life cycle of the silk moth. The first stage is when the female moth lays the eggs. She lays about 300 eggs. Then let's go to the second stage which is when the eggs hatch into a caterpillar. The caterpillar eats the mulberry leaves and grows bigger and bigger. Then after that, the third stage is when the caterpillar makes a cocoon around it and rests inside it. The fourth stage is when the caterpillar turns into a pupa. This is how the pupa looks inside the cocoon. And it rests for several days. After several days, the, the pupa becomes a silk moth and flies out. 
Once again, the silk moth lays eggs and this is how the entire cycle goes on. And this is called the life cycle of a silk moth. Children, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.